Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How many of you know that the blood will never, yeah. ever yeah. lose this
please see Sister Tara Canty, Sister Rondell Montgomery, Sister Megan Presley, or Brother Marco Mitchell. Come along for a wonderful fellowship. Amen. One correction, the fish ride will start at 8 a.m. That's on October 7th. Kendra Presley, the daughter of Kent and Cassandra Presley, was recently named in Columbia Magazine as one of Columbia's best and brightest, 35 and under. She's currently an assistant principal of one of Richland County School District 1 schools. Thank you, Friendship United Methodist Church family, for your love. I, Kendra Presley, have a passion for education, access, and equality. I take pride in helping students achieve goals and learn to take steps to transform their dreams. Parents, please learn and take advantage of all the resources established to help your child or children succeed. Please pray for educators educating your children. Pray for our children comprehending and retaining material being taught to them and pray for their mental, emotional, and physical state. Amen. Our children will probably not tell you everything that's going on with them, but pray for discernment and model prayer. Have a stable routine. <clears throat> children fight routine, but they appreciate it in the end. And please show up. Most times when I speak to children, a lot of them are not confident in their parental support. Lastly, pray for my continued strength as I not only serve the children, but the educators. Thank you for your prayers and support, Kendra Preston. Amen. 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 Please not. Please let us not forget um, to pray for our stick and shut in. Uh, Sister Tara Kennedy would also like to meet with the United Women in Faith briefly in the adult classroom. And following that, uh, we will have a grant committee meeting in the library. It will be very brief. It is now time for us to repeat our mantra. Friendship. Friendship. I church. Where friendship has a new being. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest we share is the love. Everyone have a blessed and wonderful week. Amen. 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 Amen.
represent our community. Yeah. I'm grateful for the people Amen. here in this community yeah. because it's not that far. But God says, not so. Let us keep on thanking God for all his blessings. Yes.
they suppose that they would receive more, mm -hmm. and they likewise receive each of the mm -hmm. And when they had received it, they complained against the land owner, mm -hmm. saying, these last men have worked only one hour, mm -hmm. and you made them equal to us, mm -hmm. who have borne the burden mm -hmm. of the heat of the day. Mm -hmm. But the answer one of them and said, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you agree with me for a denarius? Take what is yours and go your way. I give to this, I wish to give to this last man that's the same I give to you. It is not lawful for me to do what I wish with my own money. Uh, it is your eyes evil because I am good. So the last will be first and the first last. For many are called, but you don't This is the word of God for the people of God.
prayer was over. I could sense a relief through the phone. Good God Almighty. So, so all of you who are self proclaiming to be of God. Remember, that's not a sign of judging you. I said, if you are, then please let her spirit flow from yours. I need you to pray for our communications servant, Sister Crystal.
Jesus. Thank you, thank you so much. Before the choir comes to render a selection, I was given this note to alert us here at Friendship. Uh, Michael Randall, uh, he's affiliated with Brother Cleve, Sister DC. Uh, he gave $1,000 to the church for homecoming. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap for free. Amen. Amen. We thank God. 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 It's, a, it's a wonderful morning. I know I've said that before, but it's a wonderful morning we've had. The Holy Spirit to be ushered in with our liturgies. Ms. Lorraine Price prayed the prayer of, of thanksgiving. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. My wife has been asking me about uh, a song that I heard a while ago before we came to serve you be your servant leader. I never really thought too much about it until this week. And I said, wow, that's a, that's a powerful song. And so I told Brother Marco, you know, you know, you know me, and I can't remember nothing like him. You know, I have to look at somebody. But you know what? It's, it's, it's not about a form of fashion. It's about just doing what God says to you. I want the choir to help me with this. If y'all don't mind, put a little bit of something else on that mic. Put a little something else. A little something else on this. Mike, help me, Lord Jesus. There you go. <laughs> help me, Lord Jesus. Quiet, help me.
And so it was when the people of Ammon made war against Israel that the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tom. Some say told. Then they said to Jephthah, Come and be our commander, that we may fight against the people of Ammon. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, Did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in distress? And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, that is why we have turned again to you now, that you may go with us and fight against the people of Ammon and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, if you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon and the Lord delivers them to me, Shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, The Lord will be a witness between us if we do not do according to your words. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and commander over them. And Jephthah spoke all his words before the Lord in Mizpah. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us, let us pray. Oh merciful God, thank you for what we're fighting for. Father God, we we come to you as I heard someone in Sunday school this morning say, coming to you in humility. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. Let this body of believers say amen. 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 Last Sunday, I had the distinct privilege of preaching at church in Sumter, Presbyterian Church. And I went to the book of Genesis, the 50th chapter, around the 20th verse, where Joseph was hated by his brothers. And the message was, God will turn it around. Huh? And, 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 and so, and so, the, the content of that scripture was Joseph's brothers tried everything they could. Throwing him in a pit, all of this crazy stuff. But God delivered him. And he told them, he said, now what? Y'all meant for that. God turned it around. And so I want to use an extension of last week's message to today. And I want to use this, this theme, when God turns the tables around. You see, I want you to understand that you should never look down on anybody. Can I get a witness? You see, the person you look down on today is going to be that same person who you have to run to for them to pick you up. Watch how you treat people. And, 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 you, and you see, you see, you see, the, the thing that, that, that gets me is they, now, 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 his brother was involved with the, with the Israelites who went to him and said, look, we, we need your help. You're not going to get any kind of inheritance from our father's house. 
simply because he was the son of a prostitute. My brothers and sisters, we cannot choose our families. But it gives none of us the right to look down at somebody else just because of their privilege, just because of who your parents are. Gives nobody the right. Look down. Let me ask you something. Can you find traces of yourself in Jephthah's story? Do people look down at you because of your poor background? Have, have, have you been sidelined because you don't have a clout, so to speak, or folk following you like other people? When you make a suggestion, do people ignore you, telling you you don't know what you're talking about? Boy, oh, I need to understand. Have, have people written you off because of your past? Have people written you off because of your background or your financial level? Well, I pray today that 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 you will. Celebrated, make the despise the honored. You see, when God turns the tables around to favor you, your background is no longer important. Am I right about it? When God turned the tables around to favor Jephthah, even though that he was a son of a prostitute, nobody remembered that his mother was a hard lot. My brothers and sisters. Your background is not an issue Amen. to God. Amen. Am I right? Amen. So don't you allow people to make an issue out of it. Don't allow your background to keep you from getting to the height God has already had for you, you see. You see, promotion in heaven is not based on your You don't have to sit down in pity because your parents aren't rich. You don't have a godfather in high places and it appears like all of your peers have gone ahead of you in life. You shouldn't go through life miserable because you messed up and made some bad choices in the past. Jesus said any man who takes his hand off the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom. Stop letting people put you in the past. God already said that you're going to be successful. Look at what Jephthah did. Oh, come on, Jephthah. We need you to help us get out of this war with the Ammonites. Jephthah said, wait a minute, now wait a minute. Did you look down at me? Did you say I want nothing? But look what God did. God reached right now.
successful battles. Why do you think the Israelites tried to find? So look, we know, we know that if we get you on our side, we're going to be successful. But he had to remind them, wait a minute now, you hate me. You were talking all kind of trash about me. And you know what they said? Never mind that, never mind that. You see, when people do you wrong, they quickly forget how they did you wrong. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. When, when, when people try to, to scandalize your name, they quick to say, I didn't do that. Or never mind that. That's what they told Jephthah. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. We'll give you a high place. But you see, what you understand is this. Man can't give you a high place. The only person who can give you a high place is God. He will turn the tables around. Don't you try to get involved in a situation with somebody. You take it to the altar and you pray about it. You say, Lord, I know I can't handle this. So I bring it to the altar so you can handle it because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt you will turn the tables around.
for Jephthah. Yeah. He did it for Joseph. Yeah. He'll do it for you too. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. I understand that uh, Kendra Presley is here. Where is she?
the committee, the music ministry committee, Brother Marco, Dr. Canty, and others who are working hard for this trip to come to fruition. We can't do it. We can't do it. I want everybody to join together. Come out Saturday and buy some fish, grits, some red rice, and fish. Y'all eat that guy. Y'all understand? All right. But just please, this is a powerful ministry. You've done this before in years past, and we can do it again. Amen? Amen? We can do it again. You've done it several, several, several times in the past. You can do it again. Amen? to the Lord to be his place. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his glory with exceeding joy. To the only God I will see you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Hence now and forevermore. Let us join together as we sing.